Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue in MVC c -sharp development. Our viewer has a question about preventing negative values in an integer property. Let's dive into the details. The viewer has a strongly typed view where users are required to enter an integer value. However, the input field currently allows negative values through the arrow controls, despite validation messages appearing. They want to ensure that users cannot input negative numbers from the start. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To prevent negative values in your integer property in MVC C Sharp, we need to modify the input field in your view. Let's start by adding a minimum value attribute to the input. Next, we can enhance the validation by using JavaScript to disable the arrow buttons in the input field. This will prevent users from selecting negative values. Additionally, we can ensure that the model validation is enforced on the server side. This means that even if a user tries to bypass the client side validation, the server will still check the value. Finally, test your changes to ensure that negative values are not accepted. You should see that the input field no longer allows negative values and the validation messages work as intended. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To prevent negative values in an integer property in MVC c -sharp, you can use the editor for helper method. Set the minimum value to zero and define other attributes like maximum value, class, and title. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To prevent negative values in an int property in MVC, consider using an unsigned int. Alternatively, you can modify the property setter to ensure it only accepts non-negative values. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.